Matt Millen has been working with Tameside for many years in a partnership, working together, understanding their needs and their, their patients' needs. Um, and it, uh, we identified that there was um, a real gap with information and support. So I think we listened to the trust, we listened to the needs of people living with cancer and we looked at our experience as well of what really works well and how we've got feedback from, from people that have used, it, used Macmillan services to see what is the best way and how we can really develop information and support and support treatment um, closer to home. The environment that we've got in this unit is beautiful. Uh, it's very calming, it's very relaxed. Um, and I can tell you from personal experience of patients who are coming to have chemotherapy or who are coming to be told that they've got cancer, um, it's very important that they have a space that is quiet, tranquil, um, and that's what this space gives them. Yeah. Macmillan first came to us about three years ago. Um, it was looking to develop a fairly drab 70s built single story building um, that was in need of some serious modernisation. Um, we developed together a wish list of the accommodation that they wanted um, and as with all these things trying to uh, fit them in the space available proved challenging but I'd like to think we've made the most of the building um, uh, and provided uh, all requirements under the one roof. When Macmillan became involved and they were able to um, commission IBI, the, the architect group, they came and transformed it into what we have today. So the little touches that make such a difference. If I was a patient sat in a chemo chair, um, they've looked at what the aspect of how that patient will look out and the space that they will feel that they've got while they're sat in that chemo chair. Um, I never thought about that, the architect thought about that and made it into this calm, serene, beautiful space that really you don't want to be sat in because you're at a very dark time in your life but if you have to be sat in it, they've made a difference. Matt Millen um, puts great recognition to the importance of involving service users. So that's people living with cancer and that's people that have had experience of maybe their loved ones um, who've gone through a cancer journey. And we need to learn from their experiences. So they will, they will be around the design table, they will be in, involved in, in, in what it looks like, the feel, the environment, um, the art, everything that's included within the unit will have the voice of the service user right beside us. One of the first things that people um, see when they come into the uh, Macmillan unit is the artwork. How this came about is the art group. And people on the art group were patients like myself, carers and members of staff. And we discussed what sort of ambience, what sort of atmosphere we felt that the, that the unit should have. And the conclusion was to give it a countryside feel I, I described a walk that I, I like to do in the countryside of Tameside, which is about 12 miles long. And the, the artist that was appointed decided that the best way he could um, start this work was in fact to, to come with me on that walk. So I took him one very cold February day, uh, two years ago, through the countryside of Tameside. And he came up with this brilliant concept. So Macmillan has um, collaborated work with IBI for quite a period of years um, and I think that's been really positive because they understand our needs and where Macmillan views high quality and the importance of the environment and the importance of the feel. Um, so that, that really helps when we're working together with the Trust and with IBI and the architects um, to ensure that we get the right environment um, for the unit. One of the key mandates for Macmillan funding is that uh, the environment provided is a healing, um, calming, uh, nurturing environment uh, which puts people at ease at the time that they need it most. The treatment area is arranged to curve around so that chairs can look out. 
it was, it was crucial that we didn't have a central reception desk where people felt they was in a goldfish bowl being stared at all day long. So uh, the nurse base is set off to one side and with the curvature of the room, um, good, good patient views can be seen whilst still giving the patient um, their own area, their own space and their own bubble um, whilst undergoing treatment. The scheme involved the reconfiguration of an existing courtyard which was pretty uh, neglected to say the least. Um, the idea being that access can be straight off the treatment area. People hopefully in better weather uh, can walk out and undergo treatment whilst that's outside, giving contact with nature. We all know somebody who's been affected by cancer. Um, the statistics are getting worse. The recovery is getting better. Um, but inevitably, um, we're all contacted somewhere along the line um, by cancer and therefore it's good to be able to provide something that I know that if I was ever had to go to a facility, um, it, I'd like to go to one like Tame Sides. So Macmillan um, views it as being incredibly important that we reach and improve the lives of everybody living with cancer and we inspire millions of others to do the same and I think um, it, we have really seen how we've inspired others and how the trust, the leads within the trust have inspired others to contribute to, um, to this Thameside Macmillan unit. Uh, people ask me what this unit means to me. Um, I'm Tameside, I'm actually Ashton Underline born and bred and so this community that we talk about it is my family, um, it is my friends, uh, my grandchildren, um, it is the people I work with, it is the people I went to school with and so when you look at the fact that we know that one in two of us in the future are going to be affected by cancer, this unit is absolutely key. So I'm very proud of it, very proud of it, very proud of everybody who has been part of this project. Onwards and upwards.